This time I'm going to search for transit directions between two specific locations. First, I'm going to Kent and choose an address as the starting point. For example, here. Then, for the destination, let's go to Auburn and choose the high school, which is here. Now, let's suppose someone living at that address in Kent needs to arrive at the school in Auburn by 9 a.m. I need to set here Arrive By and choose the time that I want. So, you can see several options here. The suggested option sets the arrival time at 8.50, that's 10 minutes before 9, which is good. And for that we have to leave at 8 7. Then below you can see 8.20, which is the scheduled time the bus passes in that stop. Finally, we can see the total walking time, which should be around 24 minutes. Now let's click here to see the details of the route. So first, we have to walk around 30 minutes, and it's very interesting to see how it's so detailed in the map. Then, when we reach the bus stop, we will have a 19-minute bus ride until the stop Auburn Ave and 2nd Street and E. And finally, an 11-minute walk to the school. Now, look at this important note. The 13-minute walk to the bus stop is just an average. Some people walk faster while others slower. But the problem is when you need to pick up a transport after, in this case a bus, as Google doesn't consider any delays in walking and buffer time at the bus stop. So, when Google suggests leave at 8.7, that's not really a safe recommendation. You should add buffer time by yourself, for example 5 or 10 minutes, or even more, if it's something important, or if you are just I'm familiar with the area where you need extra time to find a stop or figure out the streets. Now let's go to the city of Seattle and let's use this time as the departure place, the Smith Tower. And our destination can be, for example, here, this intersection. So, there are several options as what usually happens in big cities and some of them require bus changes. Now I'm going to teach you some important tips. Let's look at this option. It shows the bus number 2 slash 13. This is actually only one bus ride, but it means that both lines share the same route between these two stops. When you click on the details, you can see it suggests the line 2. But, in case you miss it, it's possible that the bus 13 will pass there in the next few minutes, and you can take it as well. Now, look at another of the options. This one does require a bus change. Let's have a look at the details. First, walk about 4 minutes to that stop. And if you zoom in closer, you can see exactly which side of the street the stop is located. Then, we need to take bus 4, get off at 3rd Avenue and Pike Street, and exactly from the same stop, get on bus 2 until 1st Avenue North and Mercer Street. 